Hi America and today I want to show you something that you can use for your ribbon skirt or even on a powwow or make in an effective way for a giveaway or whatever. Uh, this is a, a few of hair ties you can put on your braids left and right. Yeah? And I want to show you how these are made yeah? and how you can make them yourself in a very simple way. And it's a very good thing for beginners. You will rock it. So, what does I do? First of all, I use um, this is mother mother of pearl in the in the center here. Yeah? These hearts. You can buy them via stringing as as cr a craft work item. You can even uh, there are sometimes the drops or whatever or mirrors or whatever. I'm personally. Uh, somebody who's loving to to sew on stuff and not to glue on because whatever however good your glue is but it will pop off so I'm always sewing on everything everything with a hole but it's not just this mother pearl that's what I'm using here but you can do whatever you see and you like so this are coming in craft stores in, in uh, strung on in uh, craft stores these beads but you can also look at a thrift store or wherever where you find old jewelry uh, and you can cut this off too this is sometimes much cheaper to, than to buy the material new and just wash it or whatever it's it's no no way it's not not worse than than the new material the new beads <coughs> so what I do later on is we need something to bead on. I have a, a fleece here, but you can also bead directly on leather, whatever you, however you like it. So I, this is very thin because I don't get a thicker one here. Uh, so I use it uh, six times that it gets a little bit of stiffness, but when you have a stiffer one, you can use this too. Um, it's. <laughs> I am always a friend of recycling stuff, so this is why. So now I have this here, just several layers of it. Then what you also need is a, a, a thread. I use a polyester thread and um, beading needles. Very simple. What I use here too is we have uh, two very uh, two sizes of beads, a smaller a smaller bead for the corners and. For inside a larger bead, this is, might be an 8.0, this, these beads here. And some segments. You get these also in a craft store. So, oop. what I now do is simply sewing on the heart. In the middle, I have got some here. So, try to show it without cutting because it's. Uh, I don't have the time to cut the videos, that's a problem. So I go three times through um, these beads. Like that. This should be enough that it never will come off. No. You see, oops, here. My, my thick fingers. So. You see here. Then I start a little bit far away from. Uh, you see the needle here; it's coming off a little bit uh, away from the heart. Then I take two beads, two of the larger one beads, Oops, and um, take them. We have three variations of beadwork stitches and one segment stitch I want to show you. I take these beads where you see here, lay it directly beside the heart and then go where, where the second bead ends, go inside. So then go in between the two beads, the two beads and go through it again. And then I take the last bead and go here. This is, I'm doing this always with two beads and going back one bead. I do this around the heart. So do 
it is I try to be it as fast as I can sometimes here in these ones I did uh, three rows of beads and mostly I do with the with the second row the, f the first row I do fix very much close to the heart because um, not that the beads will, will go under the heart or whatever so it's uh, they're um, they're very tight on the mat uh, material so now you see here go through it through the material this is this stitch is called a rosette stitch and you normally should not use too many beads in one string and going back just uh, on, on the second row I normally take four beads and go back two beads so, oops. so um, rosette stitch is mostly used as it's called for, for rosettes because you get a flat line uh, there's another stitch that is used and, and giving just the line too it's called overlay but this is overlay is used there is using uh, two threads two needles and you put all the need the, the beads on it make it fl put it flat on the on the surface and then going over the, the, the stringing the thread with the with the second needle and thread so um, this is a way here rosette stitch you can use it for for plain rosettes too paint on your designs in before but do this in the next step this is very simple here it just needs a little bit uh, until I'm, I'm surrounded the heart so it's a very easy simple way of uh, getting some power attire it's, it's really good for beginners so simple way so and I'm nearly done I have another ten set centimeter so mm -hmm. so no. so you can do the beadwork on leather too mostly um, when I use leather um, I you can also buy large heights but you don't need to sometimes you have to search a little bit for it what, what I'm doing normally is um, you have leather like this what you use later this is cowhide and this is coming from um, upholstery co uh, companies uh, that, that are doing uh, seats sofas whatever and this is a, these are the last, last bits and pieces they can't use anymore and sometimes they simply throw them away so you can sometimes get them for free or for a little money and it's unused leather so just for these little pieces you don't need a whole height you just can buy the whole height when you um, uh, did uh, the beadwork you know how it's do how you're doing it and later on simply you can um, uh, upgrade and use new stuff or expensive stuff but you don't have to when you start and you're figuring out if you if it's something for you or if it's nothing for you and say no I, I'm not a crafter it's fine but you don't, did not have spun the, spend a lot of money in it so you can just use it and try it and later on buy really good qualities so it's enough for starting and you get good res results all with the bits and pieces so now I have uh, surrounded the heart and what I now do is I wanted to use it as a second work I want to show you this so we have the seconds here and I go from the hole the half of the diameter away from the from the beads so I come through the material then I take a second like this here you see it's half of the second I go through the material 
then I take this width is exactly like half of a second. We go through the material, then take a second, so, and go here, here, where I came in, uh, the other um, second is fixed, so with a needle you see where the second is laying later. So, and now I come with my needle, I go here through this point, and go through it, oops, a lot, doesn't like me, so, okay. Then I take a second, I hear I have got not flat segments, it's flat segments make it easier because you have don't have just an upside and downside. With these, uh, that are whole, have holes inside, like a bowl, uh, you have to look a little bit uh, how you fix them, that they are all uh, the bowls like this on the upside, not just one side like this and one side there. So, but you will get that when you work on it, you will see it the same. So here, you will learn it and when you do the second one, it's very easy. So here you come out here, I don't know if to see, here, go out, take a second, and go with the needle, go inside here. So, this is one of the second stitches you can use for items. Uh, you have this effect later on. It's just a flat second and I use the bowl ones here, but it does not matter. So, you do several rounds on this. Then, what I would do later on, when I'm finished with that, I just put my needles in here, so... Um, what I do now is I have a needle here with just one string. Normally I use uh, polyester thread and I go two times through a needle, so it's bombastic. But now I've got this here. This is my, my finished circle, my finished uh, rosette. Now I cut it off, the material from the outside. You can, through the material you beat on, you can use a felt or you can use leather. Whatever does not, uh, uh, like a normal fabric is a little bit difficult because the, the threads will split off at the sides, but everything that's like a felt material or has uh, not waving, that will work. So now I have cut out this, go away. Then I use my leather. As I said, I use bits and pieces. These are not, not really big for uh, material for um, dresses, whatever, but it's bits and pieces that are very famous for this or barrettes or whatever. So, now it has to be, be a little bit stiff because when we go um, with the leather thongs here through it, it should keep and uh, should stay where it, where it is. So, what I do now because I'm somebody who's trying not to waste anything, I now go with one of the edges here to the corner. Yeah, that's here. Then cut off this edge here, see here. What I do then, because the problem is sometimes when you cut it out earlier and you did not fix it, sometimes it's, uh, you have, you don't, you, you have a little bit too less or whatever on the other side. So that's why I have the tr little trick that I'm doing here, I, sh I want to show you. It sounds a little bit strange, but it will work. You, when you when you did it the t second time, it will, will work like nearly uh, if you dream it at night. So mm -hmm. so now I just fix it on this on this area here. So I just threw a little bit uh, threw a little bit backwards with the needle, simply to fix the thread, cut it off. 
And what I now, now I'm, I'm doing now, here you see it's just fixed on one side. What I now do is I cut away all the other leather. Oops. So, but now we need, but I take the other one, uh, no, um, yeah, I, I take the next one because I prepared <laughs> some before, here's the leather, yeah, now I take uh, a pen, look for where the, where the middle is, the center is, so, center, just a small dot. What I use now is um, something to make a hole inside. Mostly, good thing is when you take this one to make holes and just take another bit of, of leather that's simply for taking down the pressure on the metal here. So, what I'm now looking is where it's unit on, it's here. So take the point in the middle just I'm a little bit lazy that I don't paint it in it before but just make two holes mm -hmm. so, got that. two holes then I take a little string of leather I have cut before what I do now is not to cut it like this, but to cut it uh, that it, goodbye, that it has a tip. That makes it simpler for getting through the hole. So now you see inside outside I just put them so now they're equally long so very good what I now do is I have prepared a thread here uh, then I mostly go somewhere as so it's very much closed put together I go in with a needle from the back that my knot is inside and just come out here here so um, go, th go through with my needle and come out directly beside of the beads then have it here then it depends on but you have you can can have a look before you start to beat I mostly for for this it's called rolled edge you will find this stitch also a lot on pipe bags on the on the top or whatever you will see when you when you look for it you will see this stitch quite often and this is what i used here here yeah, this one it's simply i'm here with my, th my thread yeah and I, I i have five beads here but you can have a look for put it directly on these on the other beads and then put it around just it's very close and here should not be too much air in between so then i see here on the back i don't know if it's going on i see here and go through both leather and my backing material the felt material i, I worked on go through it you see here so then again I take the another five beads I hear mostly for the surrounding I take smaller beads than these eight eight oh uh, in the middle so five beads Pull. take it to the other beads to the corner and then put it around here I'm fixing it with my finger going through both materials so, yeah. so it's show effect normally I'm, I'm much faster here you see 
so my fingernails are simply walnut and dying yesterday and so whatever so I think you see it I go through it and then take another five beads um, it's very very simple just, just around 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 and just passing uh, the fabric you just should look that there's no air in between it just should be tightened on the corner and this is what you're doing surrounding um, all of your your rosette show effect it's really always not the best one so you see it here starts like this and just always a millimeter or whatever going beside and go in go in go in it's just just one after another you have to train it a little bit your first one would not look perfect but with training you will see it it gets better it's a very simple thing to start with with a good result with a very beautiful result for your kid or for whatever so that's why I want to show you this so now you you're finished with the, uh, you did the, the rolled edge all around yeah? then you have the ribbon here yeah? to sew up the ribbon I normally use a hole spool here to uh, be most effective from it I don't cut it down here but I enroll it oops the hole spool these spools sometimes are very cheap in a craft store or so so not to buy by the meter but you will have you will find bargains also on the web just try it look for it if it works for you it's fine so now what I do is simply that I don't have any bits of pieces left yeah okay I cut off these crinkled line simply because I now want don't want to um, to iron them but normally you can also iron the, the, the corners and the, the bits and pieces on the end then I double it simply double all I took a, I took a, a long spool. The wider spools are much shorter. <laughs> I normally use here. So this is the end. I cut it through, then put it overlapping, make it half. Cut it again. So now put all that they have all the same length, put them together and meep. when you want to show somebody what you're doing, it never really works. It's always unpretty. So now do the same thing. So I think I have to do another one. It's still too long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit too long, but that will be my last cut. Just take them all together. Now it's a very simple way simply to to use uh, or to unwrap all material and simply half it, cut it in half every time um, it you don't have any any lost pieces on, on material so it's material effective at the end this is why I'm trying to show you because I know simply most of the people will do it another way Now I have cut them off. So this is a good length. 
for for the material I count the half of them four, five, six, seven, eight. so split them same for both sides then I put them the ends all together the other ends too it's just the, the fast version of it and normally I don't speak with it so I don't have to concentrate on it so here what I now do because there's just one side um, they're not both sides the same so I sort of sort them that all this smooth top is on top so now what I have here now is just that they all have the same length. Now I take this one, this one, and here's a little piece of, of thread. Make it up. So, so this is the end here. You just take and sew this together. Makes it easier for for handling. So now and now I simply put it on and sew it on. So that's then you have the rosette for you for your hair ties finished. Yeah, I uh, yeah. It's not really finished but at the end normally I take a candle and this is polyester and it will burn down so be a bit careful take it to the flame and then the 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 corner here will melt a little bit this is this is preventing the ribbon from fraying so it's a very simple way looks good and yes just you have to try it a little bit be, be a little bit careful that you're not getting your whole house in flames but you will see, you will learn it when you did it one time. It's very simple. You will see it, you will do it again and again. It, it's becoming more and more easy as long as you're, as more as you're doing it. So I hope you enjoyed a little crafting lesson. I hope you learned something new today and maybe keep on crafting. <laughs>